And that topic is Hayden Christensen prepping for his role in Obi-Wan Kenobi. Not only watched all the movies again, but also watched The Clone Wars and Rebels to prepare for Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi, which I think is fantastic. So he watched how not to do it, which was the way he did it. And then he watched the way to do it. And hopefully those uh, animated um, personality comes across because I know people who won't watch those shows just because they're animated and they're, they're incredible shows. So maybe he can bring that to life in live action. That would be great. I think we actually did talk about the, uh, you know, us wanting him to do that. At some point, uh, sort of like um, when we were when we were talking about the final the final final season of the Clone Wars, mm. <laughs> I recall uh, when you know uh, Anakin was doing his thing and going around and murdering people like a good Jedi. Uh, <laughs> we were saying that wouldn't it have been great if Hayden Christensen could have been more like the animated version of uh, <clears throat> of Anakin Skywalker? Wouldn't it have been great if he would have? I don't know, just been able to see how he acted in the animated series or talk mm -hmm. to Dave Filoni or something just you know get get a little bit of like better direction than be whiny and that was the worst part about the movies and I know we've said many times you know the Anakin from the Clone Wars was what should we should have seen we should have never seen you know Jake Lloyd Jake I Lloyd. hate sand I don't like sand it's coarse and Rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Are you out of your goddamn mind? The, the whole... So romantic. He's a kid in the first movie. <laughs> and then he's, you know, a whiny kid in the third, and then, you know, he turns evil in the third. The only good one was where they actually showed him... Well, his turn to the dark side, obviously. But mm -hmm. the Clone Wars, the whole way through that, man, they, sh they did such a perfect job of showing him being not only such a, you know, a powerful Jedi, but being a little conceited about that, too, and seeing why, in the end, he would be so easily to, you know, manipulated by the Emperor to fall to the dark side. They really did a great job of giving you the reasons why it happened huh. that they never showed you in the movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's There's hope... so much more in depth. Let's hope that we, you know, get that Darth Vader or that Anakin if we get... It would be great to see some, you know, flashback scenes to uh, the Clone Wars with Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen, you know, reprising their roles so we could see, you know, just them in action. I think I think Star Wars fandom would lose their minds if that happened. And Do you ever wonder... As compared to the timeline of Rebels, is this in that same era... It's pre Rebels, but it's in it's between okay. Revenge of the Sith and Rogue One. It's in that time frame. It's ten years after Revenge of the Sith, and I thought Rebels, if I remember correctly, is eighteen years after. So I'm guessing this probably. Are you sure it's uh, pre Rebels? Yes, because I mean, the the Luke Skywalker character he looked. A, oh, but then that's true. Obi Wan will be younger than he appeared in Rebels. Okay. Yes. So I was going to say, the Luke Skywalker character, he looked about the same age as uh, the little silhouette that we saw, you know, running at the end of that episode that um, I'm not going to spoil. Because if you haven't seen it, you need to go see Maul versus Obi-Wan. Yeah, I mean, people who haven't watched Rebels are really missing out because they did a fantastic job. I, I tell you the truth, when it started out, when, you know, the first few episodes, I was like, all right, this is just something completely disconnected and I don't know if I like it. But then you watch like two or three more episodes and you see how it all forms. And I, I think Filoni is just a, an incredible storyteller. So for me, Rebels is definitely a mixed bag. Um, I don't like the entire thing. Uh, I like bits and pieces of it here and there. Um, I think, uh, um, I, I, you know, a lot of people love Ezra. I never really cared for the Ezra character in the beginning of the series towards the end when he starts kind of coming into his own after he starts, you know, uh, listening to the training a little bit better. But he just, he reminded me too much of, like, early Luke and, you know, early Anakin. And it was like, but it was like extended whininess. And I was just like, oh, God, this kid kind of grates on me a bit. And so th those are some of the reasons why I didn't latch onto Rebels right away. But 
there are a lot of really good scenes that do kind of make up for it. And you're right. Great storyteller. Like, Filoni does know what he's doing when he's telling the story. I mean, yeah, we had... You take pieces from everywhere and oh, just, yeah. like, you know, drop them in there. And then this is going to work now, like he's doing with The Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he brings Ahsoka in. And it's not just, you know, for fan service. It actually works to the story, and it's well done. Yes. You know, we get the Inquisitors, who I can't wait to see, you know, in Obi-Wan. And that leads to Darth Vader versus, versus Ahsoka. Which, mm -hmm. I mean, we all needed to see that scene. That was awesome, you know. Student versus the master. Oh, sorry, not master. Student versus the... <laughs> <laughs> now, the other thing that I think uh, Hayden Christian needs to do is he needs to watch that one scene from Rogue One. Uh, so that way he can, you know, when he's not being a badass, he can also throw in a few Va Vader dad jokes. Because, you know, you got, you got to have that good equal mix of murdering a whole bunch of people and then don't choke on your own ambitions <laughs> and his wife ella uh, elevator yeah we know oh, <laughs> oh my god okay <laughs> what what i don't what wife <laughs> doug's like was that in the, the dad, comics the, where, where, the dad where? joke of course <laughs> why would somebody say that <laughs> Here everything is soft and smooth. 